Okay, here's question uh, F from the short answer questions from the uh, Oxford MAT from 2017. Um, we've got a picture of a unit circle, each point with coordinates cos x sine x as we go around the unit circle uh, for some x, and it says which of the marked arcs corresponds to tan x is less than cos x is less than sine x. Okay, so uh, we're thinking of uh, x here being the angle measured uh, from this axis. Uh, so going around in, in, in this direction uh, here from 0 to um, 2 pi radians or to 360 degrees and I think probably the easiest way to deal with this is just to uh, draw the graphs of sine, cos and tan uh, side by side that's something you should be able to do um, very uh, quickly if you're preparing for this paper and I think uh, okay, let's so let's just do that. So sine theta. I'm only going to do a very uh, rough sketch of the graph here. But what I do want is for them to uh, to match up. So I'm going to just uh, put some dotted lines down here so I at least get the um, uh, get, get the values matching up between the graphs here. So I've got sine on the top there, and then. Uh, I will have cosine that looks something like this. Okay, this is only a rough sketch, and then tan. Uh, okay, a very rough sketch here, uh, looking something like this. Okay, so we've got sine, uh, cos, and tan here. Uh, now we want tan to be the smallest, and then cos, and then sine. So uh, actually, let's also look at these. A, B, C, D, and E, where they're going to be, which which uh, values of X roughly, so A is something like these ones, uh, B is going to be coming up to 90 degrees, so some values here, C is going to be from 90 degrees onwards to some point, D is going to be the first part of this section, and E is all of this section. Uh, so let's look at cos theta less than sine theta first, so I would need one of these regions uh, to have uh, cos theta being less than sine theta. Now uh, we can see immediately that's not true in E here, cos theta is positive, sine theta is negative, so I can definitely get rid of E. Uh, in D, uh, do we have cos theta smaller than sine theta? Um, yeah, uh, well, yeah, it looks like for this, at least uh, the first part of this region, that would work. Um, if I looked at a, uh, cos theta looks like it's bigger than sine theta. Remember, I need it to be bigger in at least part of the region, so I don't have to worry too much about this. Uh, B is cos theta less than sine theta looks plausible. C, uh, yes, it definitely is. Now, what about tan theta being smaller than cos theta? Well, tan theta here goes off to plus infinity uh, in... Uh, region B, so it's certainly not that one. So I'm just down to C and D now. Tan theta is uh, goes to minus infinity in this region C, so it's going to be smaller than cos theta plausibly there. Uh, but for D, tan theta is positive and sine uh, and cos are both negative, so that one doesn't work. And by a process of elimination, we find that the answer must be C. And actually, you, know, you could think about this more carefully and you know, think about exactly where the cutoff point is for uh, when one of these becomes larger than the other. But remember, one of the skills in this map paper is to not waste too much time. And so, although in some ways the way I've described this is slightly imprecise, there's a bit of that kind of practical uh, approach and intuition that you need to be successful and to do these questions quickly. Okay. So keep watching this series, I'll go through the rest of the paper. I uh, hope this is useful.